Hi, and today we're going to be looking at Alutrex 600, which is a foil-based vapour barrier for flat roofs. You can see we used it in the flat roof that's just above me. One of the real good features that I like about this Alutrex is the fact that you can actually put it onto the flat roof and then you can actually leave it once the Alutrex is on there before actually putting on the insulation or the rubber. And that's really great because if you're working to a weather window, it means that you don't need so long to actually complete the whole roof. It's quite a difficult product to actually lay and in here you're going to see some of the issues that we had laying it. And I'd love to know if you've got different ways which you apply this vapour barrier or the alternatives that you use. Just let me know in the comments below. The first job is to apply the FG35 primer, which acts as a bonding agent for the Alutrex 600. I've actually made a video about the application of FG35 primer and I'll leave a link card above. After the FG35 primer is dried to a hard tack state, it's time to check the deck. I'd brought gravel up from the drive and that needs to be removed before you lay the Alutrex 600. Cut to length with a pair of scissors. Make sure that you work out the overlap. The overlap markings are actually on the Alutrex itself. Pull back the backing foil by about one meter. Once you've removed the triangle of backing paper, you need to put the Alutrex back into the position it was, making sure that it hasn't slid. So you want to make sure that the overlap is still applicable. Then what you do is you stick down the first bit of Alutrex. Once this is stuck down, you gradually feed out the backing paper, making sure that the Alutrex doesn't move. You also want to keep it as flat as possible and make sure that you don't have too many ridges in the Alutrex. As it's laid into position, you need to brush out the air bubbles. The other thing that we found very useful is once laid, we used a wallpaper scraper to get rid of remaining air bubbles that were in the Alutrex after it was laid. After laying the Alutrex, we paused the roof build for about a month. After a month, it was still watertight. This is what our finished result looks like. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, then please subscribe.